Alright, what's going on? So pretty much I've been grinding one lot like, recently. I think about for the past like three days since the last video. I'm pretty uh I don't wanna say motiv motivated to play one, but I I've been getting distorted ones like early on when I started playing it. So I was like so I pretty much started grinding it after that and then eventually I just started I gradually started uh like getting better at it and then getting better at it and then I started like having like actual good games. And these are one of the good games that I actually had. This was like one of the more fair matchups I had, like very, I think it was, I think it was very even in scale, I would say. If not, maybe, maybe like a, maybe like a, like a 60, 60% 60 on one of us had a better, like maybe mechanically or something. But other than that, I think it was like a very fair matchup. This, this was probably, this was either Diamond 3 or Champ 1. I'm not really sure which one it was, but let's go ahead and start watching it. And, uh, Oh, I still need to work on my kickoffs. That's one of the main reasons why I started playing one as well. I like that set a lot. I tried to I tried to like area into it because nobody expects you to do it. And if you hit it, it's like very 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 rewarding. That was a good fifty. 50s and 1s as well, uh, very useful. I think once I get really, really good at 50s, like, the game is going to be a whole lot easier. In 2s, I've been getting really good at, like, 50 in the ball towards my teammate. That was a crazy save, too. Oh, my gosh. But sometimes I don't want to give the ball to my, my teammate in 2s. I don't know, like, some players is don't uh, do the right thing with it, or do uh, I don't I don't want to say the right thing because I mean we are like low rank, but you do something really bad with it, like just bang it or something. I never know how to defend this in this spot right here either. Like I always like get scored on. Like I, when I when I don't overcommit in my corner. I end up getting scored on, and when I overcommit in my corner, I end up getting scored on. So I can't, I don't know, I don't know the right balance for it. I think this entire game, I was playing like, trying not to overcommit. As I, as I just overcommit. <laughs> and, then, and then, well I don't, mm, I will say it ended up going to overtime, and it was a, it was a pretty long overtime. And it was a terrible mistake. That was, a, that was a nice shot. I feel like I had it though. I really feel like I had that. I was in the right spot, but I guess I just jumped too high. I think it's 50 as well. Our kickoffs has been, have been improving. I tried to wall dash there. I think it was worth it, but it does end up getting the score done. But the main thing is with my kickoffs, I keep jumping way too early. I don't know how to like like break the muscle memory of the time that I jump. But I always jump too early. Right here, everybody always gonna pass the ball to you, so you can just go midfield and just wait for them to pass it to you. You might get one person that sees you, but the ball is like over top of the camera there, so they really don't even bother. They just pass it straight towards you. I might save. All right. I've been consistently camping once the last three days too as well, which is pretty, pretty nice. I would say I haven't been, I haven't been um, C3 and two at all though. I've been pretty hard stuck C2 for like three, two seasons now, two or three seasons. I'm not really sure with it. Let me know how long you'd be like in a certain rank. Cause I don't know. I feel like I should be like either hard stuck C3 or like touching GC1 right now. So I don't really, I don't ever really feel challenged in my two's lobbies. In my one's lobbies, I definitely, I definitely have players that I play that I feel challenged. 
when playing like X SSLs, which usually they always just ego challenge. So to be honest, it's not really, it's honestly not really difficult to play like X SSLs or like like TCs and other playlists because they always they will always ego challenge you and stuff. They do something that's like that's like very over committee. But definitely ones I definitely get more challenge pieces from players. I kind of hope I stay on a one grind too, because I always like, I always get on and off of it. It's because two is like more fun, and like one I actually like have to try. <laughs> like, that, like that save right there, that was so uncomfortable. I had to try to make sure I'm aligned with my uh my front pulls, and I gotta make sure that I'm my like, double too early. It's very stressful. Like one mistake in ones, and you more than likely will get scored on. Like right, I could have easily got scored on. Had I front flip there instead of side flip, I would have got scored on. Yeah, well, I mean, it led to a goal as well. I tried to take it to my corner bulls. He didn't know. He ended up noticing that, and then he ended up not going for the mid bulls and won the challenge. It's pretty smart. I can't believe it in challenge there. Most people would challenge there. I feel like it's a no-brainer. The ball is not near your goal yet. You can go ahead and hit the right over top of me. That was a risky challenge there as well for 5-5. Five, five, 30 seconds left. Only reason it worked there because he didn't expect it. That's like a lot of the times. That's when some of the challenges were, you gotta go when they, they won't expect it. Like if you ever watch uh, Flakes, he always fake challenges, so he doesn't like overcommit. Since he always fake challenges, they, uh, like it, uh, what, what's, the, what's the right word? It like, um, I can't like, I, don't, I can't think of the word right now. But like, yeah, it conditions the opponent pretty much like that you will always face challenge and not uh, actually challenge the ball so the one time you do challenge it'll catch them off guard it's kind of what i do because i can't figure out the right time to challenge still i've been getting a lot better at it i like breaking the muscle memory and stuff but it's still pretty difficult to learn i should have lost the game right there but he completely missed the oak bro hit it to my corner bro Nice try. I think I should have break like way sooner. That's why, uh, another thing too, people don't ever fall for that. Like, like when I drop the ball off my car and like fake the flick, it only works if it's like goal line most of the time. But all the time, it really doesn't work. It was a little bit risky because if he had a little bit of boost, he could have easily uh, just got a free goal from there. I wonder if I edge with this. There's a bad touch. I had to get way more to the right of the ball. He kind of tried to hit the ball towards the net instead of towards the backboard. Could have got scored on there. If he had more boost, I would have been wiped out. I wonder how often people backflip and like, like accidentally backflip. It definitely happens like every game for me. That was a clutch save to zero boost. Totally. I wonder if I could have got that boost. I probably couldn't have. It seemed pretty close. But I wonder if I had the chance to. I didn't need to obviously, but. Like hindsight, 
on if I still could have gotten it. But like, if I full send it full speed and then full send it to uh, back push. I probably shouldn't ever do that because I, I don't really need it. Right now I'm planning like try not to overcommit. Man, I hate being in these positions. I've been watching a lot of show matches and people uh, defend from like front post a lot. I'm not really sure. I watched first killer and he doesn't like. He really doesn't. He always like. If anything, I see him. I see him once straight up boost to the back post. So you get there faster. I don't really see him defending from front post. It's a pretty awkward spot here. I'm taking my time here because it's an awkward spot. And usually people there they challenge, but he actually took his time and he didn't challenge. Oh no, this is where it goes down. I don't think it is. I thought I lost that was like what? But yeah, we got 3 minutes 30 seconds overtime. I'm not sure how long it was. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure how long it was. Right here I'm nervous. See, right here I try to go away from like the uh, the front post and different from back post. It is like a lot difficult to uh, different from front post. This should be a goal. Oh no. Oh no, yeah, it was a pretty unfortunate goal. And I messed up the wave dash. He was saying uh, GG's and chat towards the end. That was pretty much the game. It was very, very fun to play in, to be honest. If I keep getting games like this all the time, I don't know, I, I, would, I would be enjoying one a whole lot. But that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. And I will see you in the next one.